For the last three days, I have been seeing so many people digging and trying to dig into my past, in hopes to try and find something bad about me. I have also seen so many people bringing up my past and trying to use it against me to try and make me feel less than worthy of where I am today. Since everyone is so invested and searching for the tea, let me give you some of mine. Cheers. I have been gifted childhood and I was always able to see in the spirit since the age of four. I saw the first demon at the age of four and saw first angel at the age of four. I saw all the obstacles I will face in my life in prophecy at the age seven. I dreamt of every major obstacle and event that would play out in my life. I grew up going to very religious restricted churches and started ignoring my spiritual gifts at the age of 10 due to fear. I heard God's voice for the first time in 2015 when I almost drank myself to death after a heartbreaking phone call and ever since then I have been hearing His voice. My gift to see in the spirit upgraded without any breaks. In 2013, God's voice always stuck with me although I never knew it was Him. I just knew I was hearing a still soft voice throughout the years. I went through heavy attacks and warfare in 2016 that almost took my life. Although I was hearing God's voice and praying, the attacks didn't stop. I started my celibacy journey and started attending many churches in hopes to find the right one. I prayed every day and fasted however, I was still under heavy attacks. During this time, I was also being upgraded in my gifts of prophecy and even in the midst of the attacks. I was able to see my attackers, what they were doing etc. During my attacks, I went to various churches that rejected me and one of the main witches who attacked me brought me to this main church saying that the pastor can help me. The pastor was actually a warlock. He held my hand closed his eyes and opened his eyes and said wow, you are powerful. The next week I went into a major attack to where I couldn't stop shaking and my mind and spirit was being tormented. I could barely speak nor could I focus because whatever was attacking me was controlling my tongue. All I could do was shake and tremble and cry. The woman who was a part of the group of those attacking me, brought me back to this church while I was under heavy attack. The pastor brought me into this room shut the door and violated me sexually while my tongue was being held by a spirit. That same day I was forced to stay for the church service and watched that same pastor go on stage and preach. After I got home I was resentful, angry and feeling worthless. Not only was I being tormented by witchcraft and witches but, I was also living the very person who brought me to this place. That same week I found out my kingdom husband was seeing someone and the person he was seeing was also tormenting me in the spirit. Despite all the good prophecies God was showing me to uplift me through the attacks, I was still heartbroken. I was desperate for answers as to why I was experiencing all of this. I was heartbroken and felt like no one was helping me and I never wanted to step foot back into a church. I told God that it was only Him and I from now on. I then decided to start watching tarot videos and I binge watched them because it was the only thing that I felt was comforting me at the time. Not one time did I feel convicted for watching them because, after what I experienced, I felt that the church was worse than some paper cards. While I was watching them, I learned how to read the cards, not that I needed them. I noticed that no matter how much I watched, no one was addressing the issues that I was facing with the attacks, which let me know that many people were not aware of these things. Later on in the year I found out more heartbreaking news through prophecy and I told God that I felt hopeless that no one could help me. I then heard create a YouTube channel so I created the channel the same day I sat on my bed in tears feeling hopeless. The next few months I started to focus on school. I bought my first tarot deck and started to experiment out of boredom. I then had the idea to start reading cards on the channel to try and help people who were going through what I was going through. I started to talk about warfare and the things that they were doing in the spirit. Majority of what I was saying had nothing to do with the cards because I was speaking from what I was seeing in the spirit and from experience and I used the cards as an experiment. 
Later that week I woke up and saw that my channel grew overnight and I was shocked because I never expected that to happen. I then started to make more videos speaking on all the wisdom I knew about the warfare because I was indeed experiencing it. I used the cards as a way to further confirm what I already knew. The channel took off. I did not expect it to. Throughout my channel growing, I didn't think anything was wrong with the cards because I was not hearing anything from God to stop, nor was I feeling any conviction for educating people. Throughout the channel growing, I spoke about my relationship with Jesus and I always tried to lead everyone to him despite the position I was in. This is because, he never left me and always made me aware that he was with me. I educated people on not attacking others with witchcraft and telling them to stay away from spells, to keep their hearts clean etc. Again, I didn't feel convicted because my heart was pure throughout the journey. This went on for about 2.5 years. The final year of this journey, Jesus started revealing himself more and more in the spirit to where I could see him. He started speaking more and more. The more he was present the more attacks that came in. Now I was no longer being attacked by the main attackers, but I was now being attacked by the witches in the spiritual community because I was speaking more and more about God. My calling was revealed to me in the final year and I started to experience a lot of jealousy in the spiritual community because the witches in there were now able to see my prophecies. God then gave me the revelation about both the heavy religious churches and the darkness in the spiritual community. God then revealed the COVID prophecy to me and told me that my time in that community was up. I understood the instructions however. I was afraid to leave because I knew they were going to come full force. That same week he told me that when I leave they will frame me and then I started to cry. That same week a woman of God emailed me and told she saw a vision of me on the cross like Jesus with the thorns on my head. I started to cry and explained to her that God already told me exactly what she saw and that she just confirmed what would happen to me. Knowing what was going to happen caused me to drag my feet and stay a little longer. Months later when COVID happened, God spoke to me and told me it's time. Obey I threw out my cards and obeyed him. The moment I obeyed him and decided to leave Tarot alone, that's when the framing started. Many of those witches who framed me, saw what God was going to do in my life and thought that if they framed me, it would prevent me from fulfilling my purpose. The framing worked for a bit and Evaon turned on me. The witches that were attacking people in that community used me as a scapegoat and made it seem as if I was the attacker. I was now being attacked and blamed by people I didn't even know existed. I cried prayed and begged God to make them stop as I received death threats through emails etc. I didn't know where to go or what would happen. I was now in wilderness season. I fasted, prayed, and seeked God for further instructions. I started focusing on my makeup channel and Patreon to pass the time while I waited for instructions. God then stripped everything from my savings and told me to step away from my YouTube channel for a bit and I did. God cleansed me for months and reformed my spirit. He sent me to the Bahamas to see a prophetess who also delivered me. Another pastor also helped deliver me. I stayed in wilderness period for months and left the Bahamas with less $1,000 in my bank account. The prophetess there prophesied that my gifts are getting stronger and that I will have a ministry. God didn't stop my attacks in the beginning because, I had to bear through them in order to get stronger and learn how to properly use my gifts. I told God I don't need YouTube and I can start working on all the other projects that I put on the back burner all these years. He gave me the okay and I did. Throughout my faith and obedience. He then started to show me visions of other projects he wanted me to work on. And these projects started to grow rapidly bringing in blessings. Then he started to show me prophecies and told me it's time I didn't know what was happening. I just decided to obey and post everything he was telling me to post. My gifts got stronger and I started to hear him more and more. He mentioned to be that I was in my Daniel season. I started to see more and more and that's when I realized that I was operating through purpose and ministering. 
the prophecy that was prophesied to me was happening. He then revealed to me that when I left Tarot, thousands of people also left. He mentioned that he used me in that season of my life to speak the truth and help his lost sheep find their way back to him and that is why I didn't feel the conviction from him until I received instructions from him to leave. Me leaving triggered many of these witches and even the ones who stole from me because they could no longer steal my messages. With all that being said, no I didn't get my gifts through divination because I was already anointed and appointed before I experimented with cards. I knew God's voice from since that first night he saved me from drinking myself to death and his voice never left me. He stuck by me throughout my life and the 2.5 years I spent experimenting in new age. He reformed me as I passed through the fire back to salvation. This is not to explain myself. This is to again, share my testimony to those who genuinely care and to of course, set some of you monitoring spirits straight. Some of you Christians who are digging and trying to find dirt on me are upset that he is blessing my obedience and you feel in your heart that I don't deserve it because of my past. That's why your monitoring spirit keeps digging and searching for videos about me. Some of you witches are upset that I came into your territory and exposed your dirty laundry, helped many find their way back to God and left. That's why even now you still sit and pray on my downfall. I'm sorry to break the bad news to those of you monitoring me but Throughout my journey of heartache and pain, my heart for Christ has never changed. Even when I was on the path of new age for 2.5 years, my heart still stuck with God and he used that season of my life to make a positive impact. My heart and motive towards God and others has always been pure. Even when I went into wilderness period, my faith and love for God stayed the same and this is why he blessed me. Yes. I noticed that throughout all of this, I did take a fall. I fell deeper into the arms of God. 